This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. A charge to fathers from the nation's leader this weekend to step up to the plate. This as fathers of all ages from constituencies across New Providence were honored by Urban Renewal during a pre-Father's Day luncheon at the Holy Cross Activity Center. The luncheon follows a similar ceremony held for mothers this past Mother's Day at the BCPOU Hall on Farrington Road. Prime Minister Perry Christie was the guest of honor at this weekend's event and he talked about the fact that Bahamian men are falling behind Bahamian women. This he says, is already proving to have an adverse impact on the country's future growth and development. It is a frightening, I think, issue. I've spoken to it at IMF conferences. I've spoken to it at the regional conferences. I've heard other prime ministers speak about it, where our men are not playing the role that they should be playing. They're falling behind, the economy suffers, the sociology of our country suffers, our daughters find it difficult and in increasingly difficult to find appropriate husbands, etc. It has major issues to the health of our country and we must be very, very mindful of the fact that we must not take that off the top of the agenda of things to do. Also in attendance was former Governor General Arthur Hanna, as well as former Archbishop Drexel Gomez. The group heard from Father James Moultrie, James Moultrie, who also challenged the men to rise to the challenge of being the kind of fathers they should be. Urban Renewal co-chair Algernon Allen made the call for more men to join Urban Renewal in its centers across the country to help reach its mandate. We need help. We need more men to come forward. We need men to be around the setters to assist us in these areas. And it doesn't take much time. They are tremendous volunteers, mind you. One came up here just now, Brother Nesbitt Higgins, and he has a team in his area who assists with that particular grouping. And of course, across the length and breadth of New Providence and Grand Bahama, there are small groupings of men who come forward. But given, given the thousands of men, the time, please, man, come forward. Help us. We are about a worthy pursuit, and we are summoning what I say the army of the good. The breakdown in the family structure has often been blamed for the country's crime problems, especially with the absence of fathers in most Bahamian households. And with many young men and women resorting to a life of crime, the Ministry of National Security, through a new mentorship initiative, is hoping to turn things around by giving every fatherless child a father to lean on. Arkandino Knowles has this report. Meet reformed gang leader Drexel Deal. At the age of 16, he joined the Rebellion Raiders, and by 19, he was one of its leaders. He doesn't shy away from telling his story, how he stabbed, robbed, and shot his way to the top. But that rebellion would be short-lived. By the age of 21, he attempted to rob an armored truck, but was shot four times and then lost his vision. And even in the moment when he says he felt himself slipping away, the thing that brought him comfort was thinking that he was going out with a glorified bang. Please tell me, in the name of Jesus, how do you protect yourself and your family against someone with such a mindset? How do you protect yourself against a person who don't fear being sent to prison for life? How do you protect yourself against a person who has nothing to lose? It's by trying to protect yourself against a suicide bomber who has no problem going out in a glorified bank. Right. Yet the best way to protect yourself and your family against such monsters is to simply to prevent them from becoming monsters. For our ultimate weapon in the fight against crime is a loving, intact family which doesn't cost us the taxpayers a penny. It's stories like this that have led government to begin programs such as the recently launched mentorship initiative called Give a Child a Father. Since its establishment, some 50 men have signed up to act as father figures for at-risk young men who are living without. The group was officially commissioned during a special ceremony recently held at the Salem Baptist Church. National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage calls it the fulfillment of a promise in the Charter for Governance. 
by fully investing today in the young people who are in danger of falling into lives of crime, we will ensure the well-being and productivity of future generations for decades to come. The National Security Minister also revealed some startling statistics from a recent study that show 84% of school children live in single mother homes, while 42% live in single father homes. The study also shows that only 30% of school children actually live in a home where both mother and father is present. Anglican Bishop Leish Boyd, who officially commissioned the men, said, These statistics are a real indication of the challenge this country faces when it comes to the family structure. It's important not to politicize these initiatives because every single one of us is called to do whatever we can to deal with the issues before us and to make our Bahamas a better place. The National Security Minister says while he's happy with the first 50 fathers who have come forward, he's hopeful that more will see the great potential in this program to help save our young men from a life of crime. Kendino Knowles, ZNS Network News. Well, still ahead tonight, we'll take you to South Andrus for Regatta. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm loving it.